Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Saris Door County bike rack here on our 2019 GMC Acadia. Now the Door County is going to be a platform style rack holding the bike down in these trays with two wheel straps and primarily holding it upright with this clamp around the frame here. That is going to mean that our carbon frame bikes we're probably going to want to avoid just because we do have some pretty big frame contact and it's clamping down on that frame so we don't want to damage it. But with the way this attaches down here rather than like a hook on the top tube, I think our alternative frame bikes are going to be just fine and with a 60 pound weight capacity, this is going to be great for our e-bikes as well with those batteries removed. One thing in particular that makes this a great option for our e-bikes is the unique feature about this. On the side here, we've got an up arrow, a pause button, and a down arrow. We'll just hit this down arrow button, and you can see that the whole rack will lower. Now, for this to function properly, you are gonna need a seven-way connector on your vehicle. Luckily, we have that on our Acadia today. And if you don't have that already, just be sure to check out our website and look at the wiring options for your vehicle. With that plugged in, we're going to get one lighting function in the back like you can see here, but as well as this powered lift. This is going to, one, help us load the bike rack into the hitch. We don't have to lift it as high in there just to get it loaded, but also it'll bring the bike down to the ground for us. So getting it unloaded is a lot easier and getting it loaded is easier too. If we do have that 60 pound e-bike, we can just kind of walk it up. Now, another option you might have is a bike rack with a ramp, but with that, sometimes those ramps get pretty steep. And again, if you are having trouble lifting an e-bike, pushing it up a ramp might be difficult too. Now we'll check out the actual loading and unloading in a bit here, but for now I'll let it raise up and we can take a look at the tilting. Now, like I said, you do have the ability to tilt the bike rack away from the vehicle with bikes loaded. To do that, we just have a safety lock right here. We'll push and turn that to unlock the tilting. And then there's this lever right here. For me, it's a pretty good height for my knee. So I can just kind of press on that and let the bike rack down. It is pretty heavy, so just keep that in mind. And we do have pretty tight clearance here on our Acadia. I'm just going to flex the bike out just a little bit because the handlebar comes so close, but it does clear. This will give you room to change your shoes before or after a ride, get something out of the back if we need it, and then we don't have to unload the whole bike rack just to get access to our vehicle. Again, I'll just kind of put a little bit of pressure right there just to get that extra little half inch of clearance that we need. And then we can lift this back into place like that. Now, if you are concerned about lifting your bikes up to load into the rack and that's why you're looking at this, I will say that tilting away is pretty difficult. If you want something that's easier, I would maybe recommend the Hollywood Racks Destination e-bike rack. It's gonna put you in a much better position to tilt and raise the bike rack. It's gonna be a lot easier to do, and it will come with a ramp. So that might be my pick for easy loading and unloading, but this is a great option as well. To get our bike unloaded, we'll start by undoing the wheel straps at the bottom, pulling up on this button here and undoing the ratcheting strap. We wanna do these first because the clamp up top is what's actually holding the bike upright. And you will notice that the bike rack is going to continue beeping at us. This is a safety feature just to make sure that we don't accidentally start driving away with the bike rack in this lowered position. So until it's raised back into its natural driving position, it'll continue to make that noise. And with everything undone here, I can just easily roll the bike down. You will wanna watch out for your pedals around that mast there and then we can just walk it off to the side. So overall, the process is pretty easy. You will have just those slight clearance issues with pedals, things like that. But overall, it's a lot nicer than a typical bike rack might be. I just like to replace the straps here and you will notice there is a fair bit of movement down here just because everything's extended down. That's another reason I might like a ramp style more just because it's gonna be more solid. With everything back in this raised position, let's get some measurements. We're gonna start with our ground clearance. Now, towards the back end here, we are gonna be getting 16 inches of ground clearance. And for these wheels at the back end, we're going to be getting about 14 and a half inches of ground clearance. 
Overall, I'd say that's pretty good. You're probably not gonna have to worry about any sort of steep driveways or hills, but just keep an eye on that in case you do run into that issue. As far as distance added to the back goes, we are gonna be adding 33 and a half inches to the back end. So that does stick out a fair bit. Unlike some other bike racks, you don't have the ability to fold it upright while it's loaded into the vehicle or without bikes loaded. So you aren't gonna be able to save any space. If you leave this in your hitch, that's how far it's gonna stick out and that's how much it's gonna add. When you aren't using it and it isn't in the vehicle though, you do have the option to fold everything upright like this into a nice kind of suitcase sort of shape. And right here, we've got some pieces that'll come together for a handle. So this will make it easier to get up into your hitch or take it out. And especially when it's in your garage, you can kind of grab these points and wheel it around. So moving it from your garage storage location to the vehicle's really easy. And with it folded up like this, it's gonna take up a lot less space in your garage. That's something not a lot of people think about with a bike rack is, it's great when it's in your vehicle, but if you don't have it in your hitch all the time, it's gonna take up a lot of space. They're big, they're bulky, and they're kind of cumbersome to carry. So this is going to be really nice when it's not in use because it won't take up too much space. Down at the hitch, we can see it will work with a two inch by two inch receiver tube and comes with a locking anti-rattle bolt. It's gonna keep things locked up and secure as well as stable in the hitch. Our included seven-way connector is plugged into our plug right here. We've got plenty of room to get that lock and key on, so everything works just as it's intended to. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage or driveway. And overall, the door counter is going to be a really solid fit on your Acadia. We've had some issues with taller vehicles where lowering the bike rack down actually doesn't get that close to the ground. So it kind of defeats the purpose of making that loading and unloading easier. But on the Acadia, it works really well. It gets right down to the ground there. It's gonna be easy to use with your e-bikes and it's gonna get an exceptionally strong hold on the bike. So everything's gonna be secure and everything's going to be pretty darn easy. My only complaint is the tilting and folding it up. So if you are looking for something like that, the Hollywood Racks Destination e-bike rack would be my pick, but otherwise it's going to be a great fit for your Acadia. Thanks for watching.